Bye. Hey, welcome back to Brew City Builds. My name is Marcel. We're halfway through the reno on the main floor and I cannot believe it. We have the entryway, the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room all done. It's been a long, hard journey, but the payoff has definitely been worth it, so I'm happy about that. Now we're moving on to the heart of the house, the hallway. There's a couple things in this room that I'm really looking forward to getting rid of. There's a Tiffany-inspired hanging pendant light that has about 40 years of dust on it, so that has to go. There's also this accordion sliding door at the base of the stairwell, and that really needs to go. But yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I want to get into it, so let's go. been living with this door for the last couple months because I didn't want to skip ahead since we're going room by room, but today's the day. It's coming down. Alright, I'm about to start prepping the walls. As with the rest of the house, there's a lot of spackling that wasn't really done right, so I gotta go through and sand all that stuff down. There's also a lot of door frames and trim in this hallway, so I have to sand all that down because there's a finish on everything and I want the paint to adhere correctly. So it's time to mask up and get started. Okay, the messy part's over. I can finally start to caulk and tape off the trim so that way I can prime these walls. It's time to move on to the paint. As always, I'm using Benjamin Moore's Chantilly Lace in a matte finish for the walls and uh, Benjamin Moore's Super White in a satin finish for the trim. Shocker, I know. taking a little caffeine break. I just taped everything off so now I can paint the trim. I'm kind of on a time crunch today because I have a COVID test later this evening. Reason being is that one of my best friends is going to be coming to stay with us for a couple days. We just want to be smart and get tested so that we're safe and you know all that jazz. But yeah she has quite the eye so I wanted to wait and choose the ceiling color till she was here because I knew her input would be good. So yeah enough chill time let's go paint that trim. Oh, I also forgot that I have to paint the closet door, so that'll be a thing too. Cassie's here. She's all the way in Wisco. Cassie's been my friend for, like, what? Like, at least 20 years. Like, right after we met, like, right after high school. So, me and this B, we go way back. She's a queen. She has a very good eye for color and things like that. So I thought it would be perfect timing, since I'm working on the hallway, to have her be included in this little thing, since I'm kind of, like, on the fence on what I want to do. We're about to head to Lowe's. And we're going to have a little color challenge, and then we're going to come back to the house and discuss everything. I'm not going to show you before then, though. Okay, yeah. So we're going to keep our, like, our picks a secret, you uh -huh. know. But 
Marcel has done such an amazing job with this home and the changes that have been made in such a short amount of time is just like, it just blows me away. So I'm glad that I like kind of get to be a part of it and you know, we'll see if he likes what I pick. Aww. I'm gonna like what you pick. Of course, you're gonna like. I what know, I pick. I'm gonna like what you pick. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's get uh, let's get going, and we'll uh, see you guys soon. Ooh, <laughs> we're back. We're back. It's time to discuss. The big reveal the, is happening. Yeah, the colors. All right, so. Uh, I'll just go first. <laughs> okay. How about you just go first? Why don't okay. you just tell me your so. The first one that I picked, it's called Noir. It is a very, like, not quite black, but it's, like, the darkest gray. It doesn't have any sort of, like, different undertones in it. It's just a straight-up, like, like a chalkboard, kind of, you know? That would be, like, a good way to think about it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you Mm -hmm. like it? Yeah, Okay, am I getting warm? You're warm. So then the second one that I picked is called Very Black. And that one has a blue undertone in it. So it almost, it's like darker than the darkest navy, um, but it's its a very, very, very dark blue, really, mm-hmm. you know, but, mm-hmm. but it has the black vibe too. And the third one, this is my favorite, and I'm really hoping that he's going to like it because it's something, it's still like with the black vibe, but it's different. It's called Nocturnal Green. And it is just like the darkest evergreen, black, green, inky kind of, I don't know. I mean, you guys can see, like, what do you, what do you think? I really like it too. I think it's like kind of a different take on a black that I probably wouldn't choose if you weren't here, but (laughs) I think it's cool. Like it might be really interesting to like do that little surprise kind of green pop up there but still being black yeah yeah Mm -hmm. i don't know i just thought it was a little different yeah i mean you know what's up all right so we did match we did we totally matched and we got the noir we both chose that okay okay i could see that that makes that makes total sense that's kind of what i'm leaning towards is just like kind of a you know like what you said it's just kind of muted and it's there but it's not too heavy i just don't want the i don't want the ceiling to feel like it's like a black like blob kind yeah of. or like it's like closing the room in exactly so noir first of all that's probably the top pick and then i had dark kettle black which you know it's pretty standard it's a standard black and when i see it against the noir i still like noir the best yeah they look really similar but like yeah. you know there's those slight differences in it yeah um, but okay, okay. And then uh, and then carbonized, which is like more of a grayish black. And I think it just might be a little too muted. Yeah, it looks a lot lighter, you know? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it, like the dark colors, they're so bold and they make a statement. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess that one's my least favorite. Right. So now I think it's come down to the noir. Mm-hmm. And what is it called? Nocturnal green and nocturnal green. So I think uh, I think we should leave it up to Benny or yeah. I mean, this is his house too, right? It is. No, I'm just kidding. It is. <laughs> it is. It's his house. <laughs> Cece Bloom, I love you. I love you too. I'm so glad you were here to help me with this. I know. I'm so glad I got to come and see your place. I wish you were able to stay for the final reveal, but she's leaving soon, so. I'll just have to FaceTime you and show you that. Oh, yeah. Totally. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Cute. I love you. I love you. All right, the verdict is in. Ben likes noir, so that's what I got. Let's go get her done. It's time to install the light fixture. 
I don't know if you recognize it, but if you watch the dining room episode, you'll see that it was originally in there. We really like it, so we wanted to put it somewhere else in the house, so we decided the hallway would be the perfect fit. I also have to install the light switch plates as well as a smoke alarm. When we first moved in, there was literally only one, and it was in the basement with no batteries. So it's been my mission to bring this house up to code with carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. So yeah, let's get all this done. I got this really cool mirror from Toilet Paper Magazine a few years ago. If you haven't heard of them, I highly suggest checking it out because they have really cool stuff. But yeah, the frame that came attached to the mirror is kind of this like thin plasticky kind of vibe and I wanted to kind of elevate it. So I decided to take it to Michael's and get a custom frame because it's a random size. What's really cool is they're gonna let me take the frame home after they make it so I can spray paint it whatever color I want and then I can bring it back and they're really gonna finish it nice. It's kind of expensive to custom frame anything, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I just got home from Michael's. I got a call that the mirror and the frame are ready. So I went and picked it up and I just opened it and it looks so good. Here, check it out. I mean, she looks good. There's an awkward space in the hallway that needs a piece of art. It's kind of tricky because the thermostat is there, so it makes it like a weird space. And everything we have is way too big, so I thought I would go to a secondhand store and see what they have as far as canvases and frames go. I don't really know what I have in mind as far as what I'm gonna make, but I feel like once I see what they have, it'll probably help me figure it out. Um, I totally just scored. I got this beautiful painting behind me and the frame for five bucks at Goodwill, NBD. If I would have gone to an art supply store, it would have been like, I don't even know how much for a frame and a canvas, so I'll take it. I actually kind of like the painting, it's pretty, but I have a vision. So I'm gonna go home, dismantle this thing, repaint it and paint the frame, and then we'll go from there. So let's go do it. <laughs> dried on the canvas so now I can finally start my masterpiece. JK, it's probably totally not going to be a masterpiece. But I like the texture that's on the canvas from the previous painting. It inspired me to pull a quote from one of my favorite movies. I'm going to be using these felt letters that I got off Amazon for super cheap. They have a sticky back so I can literally just stick them on the canvas. I'm curious if you guys know what movie this is from so let me know in the comments below if you do know. So yeah, let's get crafty. Okay, so I used some painter's tape, Good old measuring tape and a pencil. From there, I marked the center of the canvas. That way, I knew exactly where the center was on either side. Took some painter's tape, put that down right on those marks so I had a nice, clean, straight line right in the center. Then from there, I marked two inches in on either side so I knew where to start and end the first and last letter. And then from there, I just started sticking them down. Beep, bop, boop. Get all those on there. The hardest one was the center word, which was on. I just wanted to make sure the spacing was right between the two words. So I took a little more time on that. And then that's it. You put the frame on, it's ready to hang. All right, everything's done. It's time for final touches. All right, I just FaceTimed Cece Bloom to give her the first look at the finished product. I do want to give a disclaimer here. I ended up shooting the before footage the following day after I had like sanded and taken everything down. So it legit looks like a mess. So hopefully it'll make the afters look even better. Anyway, let's take a look. <music>
do you think of the black ceiling? To be honest, as it was drying, we were a little bit nervous, but then once it was completely dry, it was super matte, and then we were like, oh yeah. I will say that working on the hallway forced me to look at those stairs, and honestly, I just wanted to rip that carpet out and start working on that, but I have a plan and I'm sticking to it. With that said, the guest bedroom is next. I'm really looking forward to working on this room because it's a dark ass blue and I really want to lighten it up and just make it feel nice and fresh. The paint job that's in there right now is legit rough, so I can't wait to start on it. So yeah, if you're feeling this makeover, hit that like button and give me some love. Also subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when my next video comes out. As always, I appreciate you watching and supporting my channel. I love you. See you soon. Bye.